take me around the eight thousand dollar range here and who stands out to you yeah again we'll have like a collection of popular plays in this range too you know you've got lucas glover who's like an ambassador for the event from this part of the country brad snedeker who's playing well making a bunch of cuts and then Harold Varner. I, I, I would probably prefer Varner of those three guys that I mentioned. I mean, he's, again, he's from the state, from South Carolina. If you've, if you've kind of been keeping tabs on Harold Varner over the last kind of month or so, like his ball striking is there. It, it, it kind of comes and goes, and he's a little bit inconsistent, especially on the greens, but I kind of feel like this is going to be a good spot for him. Uh, it's a little bit longer course, so he should be able to just smash driver out there. And he's the type of player who can get a little bit inconsistent in terms of accuracy off the tee, but I don't think that's going to matter this week with the lack of rough. And also around the greens could just play a little bit easier for him. So I really like HV3 this week. Um, again, I think he's got the best upside of those three guys I mentioned. And again, the ownership around those three guys and Alex Noren is going to be popular in this range. I just don't think it's going to be that big a difference. So you can kind of just play who you like and you can look for lower owned plays to pair with them. You know, maybe a guy like Doc Redman, uh, maybe even a guy like St Scott Stallings, who's, who's made like six cuts in a row now and is actually hitting the irons very well. He'll probably get you like two or 3% ownership, which is really nice. But as far as the best plays in the strange, I like HV3. And again, I don't think there's going to be a big gap in ownership between any of those popular plays I mentioned. So you can kind of just play who you like here.